what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's video we have a block is released on the slant face of a wedge of equal mass placed on the horizontal floor so both the masses are equal coefficient of friction between all surfaces in contact is the same so here coefficient of friction is mu here is also mu so we need to find range of coefficient of friction mu for the following cases uh, both the bodies remains motionless okay wedge remains motionless block slides down i am interested in this one the block slides down the wedge wedge also slides on the floor the block does not slide on the wedge but the wedge slides on the floor so this one is not possible unrealistic situation so if i try to solve option b so wedge will remain motionless block will slide down the uh, uh, block will slide down the inclined plane okay so this is the inclined plane this is the horizontal surface this one is 45 degree this one is the block okay so the forces acting on the block are the normal mg sin 45 the friction on the lower surface it will be mu times n that is mu times mg cos 45 and there is an acceleration of the block so for non-zero acceleration mg by root 2 must be greater than mu mg by root 2 so mu must be less than 1 so we have got the upper limit uh, for the coefficient of friction now for the lower limit we need to redraw the free body diagram of the inclined plane so forces acting on the inclined plane are the normal that is mg cos 45 the friction is acting downwards that is mu times mg cos 45 normal due to the ground that be n1 its own weight that is mg and uh, the tendency of the inclined plane is to slide towards right so the frictional force due to the ground is acting towards left let that be f1 if this one is 45 degree this one is also 45 degree so let us find out the normal n1 first equating the vertical components to 0 so we have n1 equals this one is also 45 degree mg plus mg by root 2 cos 45 plus mu mg by root 2 sin 45 so n1 becomes mg plus 3 by 2 mg plus mu mg divided by 2 so this is our normal let this be our first equation forces towards the right is mg by root 2 sin 45 due to this one and towards left is mu mg by root 2 sin 45 and the friction itself so friction is mg by 2 minus mu mg by 2 and this will be our maximum friction so mu times n1 so mu 3 by 2 mg plus mu mg divided by 2 equals mg by 2 minus mu mg by 2 so all the mg gets cancelled out so all the 2 also gets cancelled out so we have 3 mu plus mu square equals 1 minus mu so mu square plus 4 mu minus 1 equals 0 so we have mu equals minus p plus minus root over b square minus 4ac that is 4 by 2a so minus b root 20 so 2 root 5 divided by 2 we have minus 2 plus minus root 5 okay 
so the negative portion is not allowed so mu minimum will be root 5 minus 2 so for the block to slide down and the inclined plane to remain at rest the range of mu must lie between this and if the value of mu is greater than 1 then the whole system will remain in equilibrium if the value of mu is less than this one then the inclined plane will slide over the horizontal surface and also the block will slide down the inclined plane okay so by solving question b we generally get answers of a and c also okay i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative thank you